Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about picking jobs and picking between personal growth and salary. So let's get into it. So the question in question was a little bit of a story, but it basically went, Frederick, I'm trying to pick between two different positions at two different companies. In the first company, I have a high possibility of personal growth with a lot of senior experiences in a very well-established company. And in the other company, I have less senior experiences and most of my personal growth is going to be by expanding my own responsibilities and it's a less known company but the salary is about 25% higher what how should I approach this as a mid-level experience with about two years of development experience and not yet settled as a human being he adds so uh, the short answer here is that you need to answer a question for yourself and that question is very simple what is your long-term goal what is the what, what, if uh, is there a long term goal if there even is one let me explain so the reason why you have to answer that question is because personal growth and pushing it to the max and becoming all that you can be will in the long run if you can stick by it earn you more opportunities better jobs like a much higher job stability and potentially now I'm raising my finger I'm saying put potentially a higher salary than if you go with the uh, with a job where it's higher pay but less personal growth let me explain that as well so guys there is a there is a finite amount of money that you will be able to squeeze out of your position as a software developer i promise you there is no like you're not going to continue increasing your salary forever at some point it's going to start stagnating and you're going to have see a little bit of a difference here and there but you won't actually be able to make more money there is one exception to this and that is if you have pushed it to the absolute max and become have in some way be become experienced enough that people want you to actually progress up to a like a very senior experience level uh, type of role or if you're a tech lead or an architect or something like that where your experience within the IT community and the IT industry is so vast and so so substantial that people want you involved because at one at some point guys the Tech, the, the, it usually goes like this. Your tech skills are going to start stagnating. Not because you don't practice, but because there is no way for you as a single individual, like your return on investment from your tech skill, they will die. That It will die. It's just a matter of time. Because at some point, you won't be able to write co code faster. You won't be able, it doesn't really matter if you know every single tool under the sun, because it's not going to produce more value for the company so the only way that you can progress even further is to expand your understanding of how to share that knowledge with others and actually work at the higher level with com the entire company structure and this is where you have to ask yourself do you want that do you want to continue until you are a tech lead an architect a CTO or something like that if you want to get to that level then you should always focus on trying to get the job where you will do the most amount of personal growth this person like the subscriber here is i would say that you are in a stage where a 25 percent salary increase is fair it is i'm not gonna lie that's a fairly substantial amount of money but you're still at a two years two years of development experience in in my world that's not you being a senior and that's another sort of sort of consideration because even if you I've seen other developers who have gone for a higher salary when they're this fresh within the industry and there's nothing wrong with that but they've also been put in a position where there's a compromise where they're not really getting any personal growth they're kind of working as lone wolves or in a, as an island and they're not actually seeing much in terms of personal growth now there's a problem with that because if you don't actually progress to a point where you are stable the the that 25 percent increase in pay is going to start looking less and less attractive when you realize that wow 
the people who are actually really experienced by the time you have five years of experience their goal and the people who actually have progressed even uh, pushed it as much as they can they're making twice of what you're making they have bought, they have jobs where they basically ma they, run, they run the whole show or they are involved in at an architect level the, the, the like that level of experience you're not going to get that if you're in the wrong company now i'm not saying that in the specific scenario that's going to happen but that's the thing that you need to consider you always have to weigh what your personal ambition is versus versus the pay that you're going to get because the money especially in the beginning is not as important in the long run. Short term, it can be very important, and, I'm not, and you should not, you know, take my advice here and say that oh, if money doesn't matter, because it does matter. It matters to absolutely everybody, to some more than others, at different stages in our career. If you're really short on cash, cash today, and you need it right here, right now, then there's not much you can do. But you should be aware of that in the long run you're going to, if your desire is to go as far as possible, you're going to be better off picking the right company as opposed to the right paycheck here and now. And in this scenario, it does seem like it would be very beneficial for this, to, for this uh, subscriber to actually go with the job that gives him access to more senior le level experiences and a bigger well-known company. Because if he goes with that sort, if, if his, his desire is to go as far as possible with his career, it's going to set him up, uh, give him a really good start. On the other hand, as I said, the other company, even though there are fewer, fewer senior developers, I mean, you can still progress your career and you can still grow and so forth. There's no, like, magical rule that says, says that, this, that one company is going to be better than the other. It just comes down to your gut feeling where you have to kind of feel it out is the am i going to give you some personal development and is that okay and then the higher paycheck is the sherry on top or do i want to try to ex to ex expand my personal growth as m much as humanly possible and then leverage that later on to actually be able to go even further within my career so what i want you to take away from this is that when you are in a situation where you need to pick a job or you have to pick between a job position, different job positions, usually the discussion or the question that I, at least I get is between salary, a higher salary, or access to more senior level experiences and more options for personal growth. If you get the chance to pick between these two, you have to ask yourself, what is your long-term goal? If you can figure out what your long-term goal is, and if your desire is to actually make as much money as humanly possible and go as far as possible within software development, then personal growth is usually the way to go. Because in the beginning of things, you know nothing. And the salary that you earn as like a junior level experience is nothing in comparison to what you're going to make as a senior level experience or the potential that you have for being a senior developer. But if you want to earn that cash, you have to have the skills. That's the key thing. If you don't have the skills, it doesn't matter if you've worked for 10 or 20 years. Nobody's going to pay you if you still code like you're, uh, you're straight out of college. On the other hand, if you are in a situation where you're getting, where your desire is not necessarily to go as far as possible, but rather you're, you just want to so have a stable job and you just kind of want to make a living from software development, then there's nothing wrong with picking a your paycheck because you're still going to do some type of uh, of learning as long as the company of course is still within the bounds of what's considered normal practices within IT so that's why this is such a hard question to answer I would suggest that before you reach for the fast like the easy money even if you're not your desires not to go as far as possible is to ask yourself or am I stable even if your your desire is to just get a stable income and like make some extra make some good money you should really ask yourself that are you stable after two years of experience i can almost promise you that you're not stable stable means that you are the sort of person that you you don't really have to be afraid of getting another job because when you have four or five years of experience and you have the skills to actually pretty much work alone do whatever people can kind of just put things on you and you're just going to solve it and you don't really need anybody else to produce results that's when you're stable that's when you are a senior level developer well 
depending on how you define it. And th that's where you want to be before, I argue, you start thinking about maximizing your paycheck. Because at that level, you can pretty, you're, you are as, as in as high demand that you could possibly be without trying to push it to the absolute limit. Have a great day.